Hello and welcome to yet another tutorial video. Uh, not really sure what to call this one. Um, I guess what I'd like to communicate to to you guys and girls is um, the basic terminology um, and basic website terms, which I think will help help you a lot when reading foreign posts or you know interacting with. Uh, other webmasters etc um, so let's go across to clan sites and talk about what we see um, I'm going to break this into areas this area here is called the banner or the header <laughs> it can be called either header I guess is more correct this here is called a block in fact this is called a block, this is a block, this is a block and this also is a block. The site is covered in blocks left, right and center blocks. It's actually a little more complicated than that. There's actually four different types of blocks. We have left, right, top center and bottom center. The reason for this is you can load modules into your home page and have blocks appear above and below the module. Um, on my site I have the news loaded onto the home page, the news module. So any news stories that are submitted will be posted onto the home page. We can see the latest story that I've sub submitted is 20 more gaming clan web templates added to the download section and I wrote a little bit about that here every new news story will replace this area here and this will be pushed down and you can change the limit i.e. you can have three news stories on your home page two five ten whatever you want on this site I do have no blocks appearing below so I'm not using center blocks down only center blocks up so that's the structure the next important thing to learn is the difference or or rather what exactly a module is modules are for want of a better word plugins they are separate plugins that plug into your website to give your website more functionality for example here we have the applications module the forum module the downloads module uh, features is not actually a module it's actually part of the content system uh, the content system allows you to add pages of text, images, videos, whatever you like, but full pages to your website. You can then link to them from your menu in here. Um, a module will take control of the page. I click Downloads. We'll see now that the focus is on downloads. We still have the left blocks. But now the content the main area is taken up by the Downloads module the same for the web links and the applications so this is the difference between blocks and modules now now we know the difference between a module and a block we can move on I'm going to the tutorial website need to log in I'm now logged in as a user now from the admin.p 
PHP page, I shall log in as admin. This is the main administration panel. This gives you full control over your website. You can literally do everything from in here. It's divided into two sections module administration and administration menu. Uh, the purpose of this tutorial is to discuss the layout of your website. So I will only be talking about the block interface and the modules. Uh, to start with, let's have a look at the block interface. The block interface is built using Ajax and it's all drag and drop so it's quite easy to use. You can see here that we have five separate areas. Here is all our left blocks L1, administration, navigation. You can see admin, navigation admin, navigation, submissions, submissions, all the way down. Then we have center blocks, in this case center up. Over here we have center down. And here we have the right blocks. This area in blue is what's called closed blocks. You can just drag any blocks that you don't want to use into this area, hit commit, and they'll disappear from your home page. You must always click commit after making any changes so that the changes you're making here are saved out to the database. If you don't click commit your changes will not be saved and you'll have to repeat the process. Okay so let's move some stuff around. Let's have a look first of all at the home page. Now if we look in the center up, we'll notice that our top center block is X fire center scroll. And yet, when we look at the website, we see that it's actually the third one down. Why is this? Blocks are saying that it's at the top. I don't see anything about these messages. Okay, so. If I want to move these blocks around, I simply drag and drop. I've now moved the Ventrilo voice server block from the center to the right. Click commit to save the changes. Refresh the home page. You see the center block here. After the refresh, it will move over to the right hand side. And there we have the ventrilo block. It is that easy to move things around. If I want to close that block, I drag it into close, click commit, it disappears. Refresh my home page and we'll see that the Ventrilo voice server block no longer appears. Scroll down the right. It's gone. 